What is music? Well, let me tell you that music is this powerful thing which many people use to relax or release emotions. There are so many different genres of music, everyone has their favourites and least favourites. But this documentary is for me, as a filmmaker and music lover, to show you what music truly is and how it affects everything we do, and the way it plays a part in our lives. I went on a journey to ask as many people as possible what music they enjoy and why it's important to them. Hi, my name is Karen Reeves and I go to Preston College. Hi, I'm Lily. And I'm Elena. And, and we're, we're from, from Preston College. Hi, my name is Sam. I'm 18. I'm from Preston College. Hi, I am Tasha from Preston College. Hi, my name is Ellie and I'm a student at Preston College. Okay, what genre of music do you like? Um, I like kind of like indie rock type of music. Um, mixed with like kind of like alternative. Um, I like some rap, but like not, not a lot. Some, some rap is like kind of, as long as it's like rap music with like kind of like a, where it goes back into kind of like, like a, some kind of melody of so like twist. Yeah, if it's all rap, I don't. Rap, emo rap, and pop, loads, everything, and rock. I don't, I know. <laughs> she doesn't. So I normally listen to indie, um, sometimes rap, um, and then sort of like summer, summer hits, summer playlists when I'm driving in the car. I like indie and rock slash pop. Oh, I'd like to say I love every genre of music, like. But if I'd have to like pick a favourite, I'd have to go for like all of them be. Where do you listen to music most? Um, usually in my room. Uh, I listen to music when I'm like going to bed and like, going to sleep and stuff, uh, which yeah, helps me sleep. But also, I probably spend the most time listening to music actually, like when, on the way to college and stuff, like on the bus or in, like or like going home and like walking and stuff. So probably probably then. So like most days of the week, but like in the mornings. Where do you listen to music the most? Um, in the car, on the bus. Anywhere really, in the garden, it's sunny, just, I don't know, pubs, anywhere. Yeah, music's everywhere. In the car, when I'm driving. Why? Why specifically in the car? Um, just something to do, I mean. Driving around without music would be a bit boring, it's just something to take your mind off things. Uh, where do you listen to music? Um, mostly in the car or when I'm doing work. Um, mostly when I'm like, on bus rides, like travelling, walking, mm -hmm. uh, when I'm just sat in my room, when I'm doing work, just mm -hmm. anywhere I can really. What is the significance of music to you? You can like, kind of pass time a lot faster and take your mind somewhere else. What does it mean to you? Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> um, I don't know, you just, you find peace in it from music, like... It just, it all depends on the mood. Sometimes I listen to music when I'm just like crying. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean. I listen to music all the time. I see it as like an escape. Yeah. yeah. Um, depending on the type of music, it helps me to either get away from my problems, um, or, you know, it just, it helps you relax in some, in some cases. Um, I kind of like it to just soundtrack my life. It's not really like a massive thing, it's more of a constant comfort. Um, I'd say it's significant in a lot of areas of my life, like say if I'm happy, I can vibe to it. If I'm going through a lot of emotions, I can feel what I'm feeling, like through the words of the song. Do you think that music helps with creativity? Yeah. yeah. When I draw, because I do art, I do a lot of art, yeah. um, I listen to music. When I draw, or I listen to like podcasts. Yeah. It just, I, I don't know. Like, it all depends for me. Like, I don't know if you class me because, like, creativity, but yeah, like, doing makeup stuff like that. Like, do you think that music helps with creativity? Definitely. Um, most of my inspiration for ideas for films and stuff tends to come from me finding a song that inspires me. I, I think it does, yeah. Because one thing I know about music and is that it's very, it's very powerful, and I feel like it can, um, it can really like change how how your brain, like it can just change, can, like like you get more like dopamine and stuff. You can you can just change your entire mood with music. I feel like a hundred percent. I'm a very creative person, but I don't think I would be where I am without music and having 
such big inspirations in every area of my life really without it. Yeah, I do actually, yeah, it can do. There are there have been times where I've, I've related back to songs and thought I, I could have done this with this sort of type of shot mm -hmm. after hearing somebody else's lyrics. Are there certain memories that are brought up when you listen to music? Yes, definitely. Um, there are certain songs that remind me of past relationships or moments with my family. Like me and my brother went to America and we got a free game of Guitar Hero <laughs> and we got to play rock and roll all night by Kiss on the free game of Guitar Hero and it's now like an anthem. <laughs> there are certain songs that make me think of memories, yes. So like there's a um, Summer Holidays. I don't think that we're all going on it. So yeah. Oh, that, that makes me think of uh, going to Wales and Anglesey every year with my dad. So it's like old nostalgia mm -hmm. sort of stuff. Um, it depends what song really we're going for. Like, say if I'm listening to like Whitney Houston, for example, that reminds me massively of growing up and my family because that's what like I was shown as a kid and what inspired me to go into my singing and like play the instruments that I have. Are there certain memories that are brought up when you listen to music? Yeah. yeah. And Memories of like my sisters getting ready to go out. Like they used to yeah. have their music channel. Yeah. And like your parents when they're having a drink with their parents, stuff like that. Like all the old Whitney and George Michael. And it's just stuff you've seen growing up. So that kind of like. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I, I feel like with music, it's it's very. Um, it can activate a lot of like memories and like like nostalgia and stuff. Especially if it's like something that I listened to when I was a kid or heard on the radio a lot um, when I was a kid. If I hear it, listen to it now, it just takes me back to being a kid. This is just easy. Do you listen to music for the melody or the lyrics? A bit of both. So the melody side of it would be like kind of the summer hits. Um, obviously when I'm driving in my car, the actual tune is just nice to bop along to. Um, but the lyrics, again, you're looking at um, James Arthur, Sam Smith, who have been through those problems and you can relate to. Lyrics. Lyrics are like means something like you, you can sit and listen and deep it all saying so going back to what i was saying about dave like all these lyrics are deep and you everyone can kind of relate to it or take an interest in it you get what i mean because going back to what he did about domestic violence and that it's like it's spreading awareness as well as telling the story mm -hmm. like it's not just like he says in the song it's not just a song of a trap it's like he's telling the story try and help people get out of it because people look up to him the people going through that or seeing the parents go through that stuff like that like they can try and help you get what i mean yeah. um, i'll speak up about it. depends what genre of music um most music that i listen to is for the
And there we have it. Proof that music really does affect people in different ways. No matter what we do, it plays a part in everything. And this was evident with the time and effort that my team of interviewees put into their answers. Thank you for watching and listening.